Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. So I have this mounting bracket here and you're probably like, why are you walking through the back rooms of your school with an integrity mounting bracket? So this is the one mounting bracket that I do have, um, but I have an integrity speaker strobe that's missing a bracket. So here in the metal shop, I'm gonna attempt to fabricate a replacement mounting bracket uh, based on this copy I have, and then we'll see how it goes. So let's go ahead and get started. Turn on the light. Oh. That's unfortunate. I made these labels like two years ago when I was a uh, freshman here because I had nothing better to do, but I guess they never took them down. So that's that. So my guess for this is for this, it's probably gonna be a piece of sheet metal to get this little bend at the top that hooks into the unit. I probably have to clamp a piece of sheet metal in a vise and just bang it. Um, I'm not sure how I'd get this little thing here. I'm assuming it's gonna be too challenging to get uh, that little thread so i might just have a flat sheet and then kind of um tap it but who knows so let's see what we can find in the the scrap pile i don't have many metal working machines at home um so i kind of just took it to school yeah okay so this looks like a promising pile so we have this this honestly looks like the perfect thickness of metal and uh is it the same size it does look like i could get something out of that because this um does yeah i can cut something out of that so i'm gonna cut up this thing and then use that let's go ahead and get started flattened it out a little bit by bending these edges down i think someone was trying to make a little tray but obviously it did not work out so now i'm gonna kind of pound it a little flatter with this hand um again i'm a metal worker so i'm not too good at this i think i'm holding my phone with the other hand but i don't know if i should use the ball under the, the flat end but So I just flattened this piece out. Doesn't really look good. Doesn't really look like it's gonna be that great. It'll probably work, but I just noticed this on the floor though. This is a nice piece of flat metal, but uh, it looks like it's gonna fit perfectly. So I'm probably gonna use this. I have a rough little sketch here. You can see to get this tab here. If I was to just trace it like this, it would not be uh, to scale. So I kind of bent it back like that, trace that. Now I'm gonna cut this out. I should probably, uh, mark up these keyholes first so i know where i'm screwing into but yeah all right so we have our sheet metal here i have this um, old sheet metal here so we're going to go ahead and go for it so these two edges here are square these are factory edges i know people are like oh don't trust the factory edges i trust the factory edges um so i'm just gonna go ahead and send it through here no power tools necessary just line it up and you go for it So it looks like I overshot it a little bit. It's a little bit of extra, so a little bit. That's probably it. Ah, wonderful. So that's what we have there. Now I'm going to do this edge. Edge. <laughs> Not funny. Um, all right, there we go. So we have our sheet metal cut. How about that? All right, so we have a pretty close copy here. Of course, I'll have to bend that part over. Actually, is that a little not straight? Whatever, it's fine. Um, so after I do that, or before I do that, I'm gonna have to drill out these holes. So I guess for the keyholes, I really don't care. I just need holes to be able to mount. But this is gonna be a challenge because I don't know really how to do that. My guess would be, um, I mean, if I was doing it at home, I'd probably just like drill a hole and use a jigsaw with a metal blade to kind of get in there and then file it down. But I feel like since we have all of this stuff, there's got to be a more advanced way to do it. All right, so this is a really simple idea. It's probably a stupid one, but who knows? Maybe it's going to work. So I just put this big, um, I can't say that word, bit in this uh, drill press. And uh, I'm going to clamp it down because this is the one here that has a clamp. And then I'm just going to drill a series of big holes in it. And then hopefully I'll be able to slide some uh, uh, tin snips in there and just kind of roughly trace it out. I mean, it doesn't really have to be all that good. All it has to do is just like accept a speaker into the hole so we'll go ahead and just slide that maybe like right there and then just adjust that this one i have you can see i cut it out it actually did come out pretty nice um obviously there's rough edges i'm definitely going to want to file that down especially since i'll be feeding wires through this a little bit of a mess here but i use these 
tin sniff. It did work out pretty well. So now I have to drill out these holes. I might not even do the keyhole type thing and I might just um, drill holes, just feed it through and then I also have to make a hole here. All right, so I've clamped this in a vise. You can see it's a little wobbly. So I just leave a little bit of tolerance and then I'm gonna file this. You're like, why are you wearing safety glasses and uh, ear protection? It's not that loud. It's not loud, but this sound is just utterly obnoxious. I feel like after you do this for like a minute, it just like really kind of drives you insane. So that's why I know I look really, you know, with these on, but we're just gonna have to deal with it. So once again, I just have this massive file and I'm just gonna start eating away at it like that. After that, I'll kind of grind it down a little more to make sure it doesn't nick the wires, but what we're dealing with here. All right, so now I'm gonna drill these holes. I'm not gonna do the keyhole. I mean, I might um, if I'm feeling fancy, but for now I'm just gonna drill the uh, actual hole. So turn this on. So I just made the first keyhole. As you can see, I drilled these holes here. I drilled a slightly bigger hole and now I'm using these tiny needle files to file it down. Definitely a pain, but I'm trying to make this look kind of cool. And then for this, I might just use like self tappers, honestly, because it's really hard to tap my thin sheet of metal. So I'm gonna put this thing in this uh, machine here, and then I'm just gonna bend this tab up. And hopefully it's gonna look somewhat decent. That should be enough. Dead. Damn, there we go. So that's the finished product. It's obviously not, you know, perfectly uh, like the old one, but I'm sure this will fit. And it definitely would mount on a box. And then of course there's a screw hole here. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching this video. Um, actually, I'm not going to end this video yet. I'm going to take this home and show you if it works. Went ahead and tapped it. You can see the uh, tab actually holds. So as long as I don't over torque this, it should be fine. So I'll bring it home. All right, welcome home. So I have the bracket here. You can see that I um, brought it home. So this is the speaker strobe I made it for. It's missing a mounting bracket. So obviously, you know, you can't use it. This one's actually easy because... You know, some units, you have to make the mounting bracket with um, wire contacts, but this one just wires to the device. So this one really is just a mechanical uh, fixation, but you can see this is the bend. So this is meant to latch into these tabs, which, oh, it does. And boom, look at that. And the screw appears to line up. So let's get our mounting screw, feed it through the hole, and then uh, I'm gonna actually screw it in. So let me get a screwdriver. Look at that, screws in. I'm not going to over tighten it because uh, I know that this will uh, basically strip out. But look at that. So this will hold a unit to the wall, which is really all I'm looking for. And it does look pretty legit. So thank you for watching this video. I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. Um, I usually don't fabricate things out of sheet metal. So this was my first time doing that. But I'm happy with how this looked. And um, it's definitely easier than I thought. So thank you for watching.